Bartholomew, Barty, Featherbottom, the epitome of urban polish, found himself in Moose Creek, Montana, a town so small it barely qualified as a speck on the map. He traded his sleek penthouse for a cabin with a leaky roof and swapped his Gucci loafers for mud-caked boots. The reason? A desperate attempt to rediscover his inner Thoreau and escape the suffocating clutches of city life. Moose Creek, it turned out, wasn't exactly Walden Pond. The locals, a collection of flannel-clad characters with names like Buck and Maeve, eyed him with suspicion, their drawls thicker than the maple syrup they drizzled on everything. Then, there was the legend of Big Edna, the elusive Lady Bigfoot who supposedly roamed the surrounding woods. One foggy morning, while attempting to commune with a squirrel, it stared back, unimpressed, a figure emerged from the pines. Tall, hairy, and smelling faintly of pine needles and regret, it was Edna. But unlike the snarling beasts of legend, Edna was a vision of gentle grace, her eyes the color of mountain lakes and her smile as warm as freshly baked biscuits. Barty, despite his initial terror, found himself captivated. Edna, tired of the solitude and yearning for a decent cup of coffee, Moose Creek's only barista was a goat named Phil, was equally intrigued by the city slicker with the kind eyes and the knack for quoting Shakespeare to startled chipmunks. Their dates were anything but conventional. Picnics were under waterfalls, serenaded by croaking bullfrogs. Movie nights involved stargazing, Edna's moss-covered head resting comfortably on Barty's lap. He learned to forage for berries, she taught him to identify constellations. He read her Keats, she showed him how to wrestle a bear, for fun, of course. Moose Creek, initially resistant to the odd couple, slowly warmed up. Edna, with her surprisingly delicate touch, even managed to mend Phil the goat's perpetually leaking udder. Barty, in turn, brought a touch of city sophistication to the annual pie contest, winning first place with his sardine surprise, a surprisingly delicious concoction Edna helped him create. Their love story wasn't without its challenges. Barty's friends in the city couldn't believe he traded boardrooms for bear encounters. Edna's family, a grumpy bunch of big feet with a penchant for yodeling, disapproved of the hairless bipedal. But against all odds, their love bloomed, nurtured by shared laughter, whispered secrets under the moon, and a mutual love for blueberry pancakes. One crisp autumn day, Barty, inspired by Edna's love for the mountains, proposed. He carved a ring from a fallen log, whispering promises of forever under the watchful gaze of a bald eagle. Edna, her eyes shining like moonlit dewdrops, roared her acceptance, the sound echoing through the valley like a symphony of love. Their wedding, a spectacle of wildflowers and banjo music, was the talk of Moose Creek for years. Barty, in a kilt, Edna insisted, and Edna, in a dress woven from moonlight and pine needles, danced under the stars, their love a testament to the fact that sometimes, the greatest stories are found in the most unexpected places, and that even a city slicker and a lady Bigfoot can find happily ever after in the heart of a small mountain town, as long as they have a shared love for blueberry pancakes and a willingness to wrestle the occasional bear.